yung ate. <laughs> oh, Doda. Yes, well, because they, they know me all of Doda Lina. Doda Lina? Ken. I thought you were ate Lina. Yes, it's English. <laughs> In Hebrew, it's Doda. Doda is mother, mama. It's uh, no, ante, and tita, oh, tita, 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 tita. Mm -hmm. uh, this is exactly why I was going to call you. Mm -hmm. Why I was going to ask you. Why do they call you? Yeah, um, well, because in, th that's in Hebrew, Doda, it means uh, Tita, Auntie. Auntie? Aunt, Aunt, yeah. And why do they call you Auntie? Yeah, because uh, I'm the, the, not only the age, I'm the eldest in the, I'm oldest here in the society. So when did you arrive to Israel? I think I arrived here in 1996. Uh, 1988. So that's many years. Many years. <laughs> Were you married then? Uh, I I was married in the Philippines, but we are not uh, get uh, marriage in charge. We just only live in for uh, uh, for uh, 85, 88 for three years. We are living in the Philippines. When we when we come, when I came here, my husband is already here. So we got married here in the church in the Saint Anthony Church in Japa. In Japa. That must be. That was uh, 1988. And how was it then here, the Filipino community? Where a lot of people. Uh, bef bef but the, the, in that time, there is no the few Filipinos are here. A few. Not. And how did you come? I mean, was it through an agency at that time? Yeah, a bit before it, there is no agency. When we came here, we, there is no agency. I have a, a sister-in-law ahead from me here, and uh, she's the one who will find an employer. And then they sent us the visa there, and then we come here. Yes. Yeah, but we have already an uh, employer. But there is no agency yet. No agency. They just uh, direct. It's direct hire. Hiring. When did the agency start working? The agency, I think, it start in 1980. I think 90. I think 1990 or 92. Something. It was supposed to be 90 to 92. They start the agency, but with, with there is no yet the agency fee. No collection of agents, no collecting uh, uh, agency fee. And you are very involved in your community here. Before coming to Israel, were you also doing similar social... Um, in the Philippines? In the Philippines social work? Yeah, in the school. In the school. During uh, high school, so I'm already in the... If there is a juniors and seniors from, I'm also officer of the in the school and when you arrived here did you start working in the social affairs immediately or did it take you time to start being involved in the community to do no, social work no we the the community starts only i think early 2000 uh, 2000 something that so there is no community yet in that time, in 1988 to 1990, 92, because uh, the Filipino here is a few, few. I think there is no 500 uh, Filipinos here. When you first came? Yeah. And how many are there now? Now I think more or less 30, 30,000. More or less. In one of the magazines for the Filipino guest workers, I have seen an advice from uh, a Filipino guest worker who just arrived in Saudi Arabia. And it was saying what you should do not to feel lonely in a country where you are very new. Mm -hmm. um, here you've been so many years, but you are one of the first people to come. Mm -hmm. And there are some people, uh, maybe you were lucky because your uh, partner was here, mm -hmm. but there are so many people who come here alone. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they experience in the beginning? In the, be in the beginning they are homesick. They are homesick. But uh, 
we, we did not take the homesick. That one month to three months to six months, it's a big uh, homesick for, uh, for the foreigners because they separate to their family, to their children. So it's a very big uh, homesick. And you cannot once, imagine. <laughs> yes, it must be. And once a Filipino worker comes here, they are not only coming to Tel Aviv, sometimes they are going to small towns, yeah. which is not connected uh, to Tel Aviv. Yeah. So, and six days of the week they are working there. So how do they get in touch with other Filipinos in the country? Before, before, uh, before it's uh, very, very difficult because there, there is no, there is no cell phone before. There is no computer before. So it's very, it's very disparate if you are in a far place. <laughs> For example, when you first came, not the first year, but maybe the second and third year. Uh, did you get surprised when you met some other Filipinos coming from other parts of Israel to Tel Aviv? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they start down the, 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 Saturday, the Saturday nights, the day of nights, the day, day off. So Saturdays is always a day off for every... No, some, some, if your employer is religious, so Friday you will go out, Saturday you will come back. So some also uh, Saturday and then Sunday is coming back. So but there is always one day break. Yeah, 20, 24 hours before. 24 hours before. Now they approved the 26 hours and then I think now the the agency make it 36 hours. But the employer, some of the employer, doesn't agree the 36 hours. And have you heard of any cases that? Some employer doesn't want the worker to have any break at all. Yes. And yes. But what happens then? Yeah, it depends on you. If you don't want to go out, they, 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 the employer paid it. They will pay. If, if the, the employer, she needs you every, in the seven days, so what can you do? So you will stay, but they will pay it. They will pay. Mm -hmm. And if something happens at home and uh, the, the guest worker thinks that uh, they are uh, asking her to work too much or if something happens and they didn't pay, how does she look for her right in this so, situation? They, first, b before she, they will uh, go to the agency. And if the agency did not uh, attend to this uh, complaint, so they go to the out of bed. So the Kabla the bed now is the one who will call the employer. So the Kabla bed now is the one who will uh, make an, uh, to speak to the employer. And I think they, they settled it also. When I was in Lebanon, uh, there is also a big Filipino community there. Mm -hmm. And in Beirut, I realized that there were shops where they were selling uniforms for guest workers. So they were forced to use uh, wear uniforms at home mm -hmm. when they were working in their ah. employer's house. Do you have anything like no, that no. in Israel? No, no. Here in Israel, it's, no. it's different. It's, it's not uh, even wha what you use, they don't... Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> and uh, which part of the Philippines are you from? Um, I came from uh, Bicol region, and in, in I think in uh, Masbati, Masbati. It's in a part of Bicol. It's in Luzon, because uh, Philippines is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So we are in Luzon, but uh, it's in a Bicol region, region five. Region five. Mm -hmm. And uh, is the Filipino community here? Uh, Divided into these sections, clearly divided. Yes, the, that's why the, that's why the organization is. If you are, uh, uh, if you are uh, Ilocano, their in, their association is Samahang Ilocano. So, uh, like the Ilongo tribes, Ilongo tribes. That's a Bisaya. It's a, in another uh, uh, Bisayas uh, region.